So, hello and welcome to another Blueboard session. I just thought I'd give you yet another uh, example on uh, conflict-driven no-good learning works, or what it actually is, I think, how we can explain it to our parents and grandparents, a machine that learns from its mistakes. And again, I know that learning is overrated, but forgive me this. Anyway, so what we have to think of is more or less we are doing search. So we are more or less roaming in a, in a search space, in a search tree, and we are more or less, uh, when, we, when we look at uh, conflict-driven no-good learning, we look at the end of a branch. So this is more or less our current branch in the big tree, right? Uh, and uh, what, what we do is we propagate after a choice. So here actually at the beginning we only propagate, this is uh, level zero, then here we make a choice we propagate again, we make a choice, we propagate, and again, we make a choice, and we propagate, and here again, we make a choice and propagate, but this is now where a conflict happens, right? So all these levels here, we were making choices, and we were propagating afterwards, but we never detected any conflict. So they were more or less, at that time, conflict-free, so to speak. But here, on level 42, we detect a conflict. And detecting a conflict means that a no-good uh, gets violated and this means all literals of the no good can be found in the current assignment. And actually the no good that I just fabricated and the of course the whole example is fabricated is this guy. And as we see f of b is here, t of c is here, f of j is here and t of k is here. So actually here we already see that this no good b becomes violated once we arrive at level 42 because these two guys belong to it, right? Okay, now this is more or less the very first thing that happens in, in CDCL. We detect a conflict, right? Check. And then once we have this conflict, we start to analyze it. So the first question we ask ourselves, does this guy have a unique implication point? And let me just perhaps color where these guys sit, right? So f of b uh, sits here, t of c sits here, f of j sits here, and t of k sits here. And uh, this already uh, um, responds to the question, no, it does not have a unique implication point, because a unique implication point means that there's only one literal of level 42 contained in the no good, but we already saw there are two of them. Okay, so this means more or less we have to transform our no-good and for this we use resolution. Now keep in mind that whenever we propagate it uh, on and, 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 and obtain the unit resulting literal, so for instance t of k, there is a corresponding no-good which contains the complementary literals and all other literals are contained in the assignment. So T of C and F of, J, F of J is here, right? And T of C is here. Okay, now what, we, what this means actually is that since this guy here is contained in our conflict and the complement is in the reason no good, the no good that led to, the, to, the, to, the, um, to, the, to this guy becoming a unit, a unit resulting, we can actually resolve on these two guys by resolution. And keep in mind that there is also a blue bot on resolution just in case you want to look this up. So what this means is now the following. We take actually uh, our our no good and I just write this here, right? So it's f of k. I just copy now from below t of c and f of j, right? This is just me copying this guy over here. And now we apply resolution and I just do this a bit more formal, right? I write this inference rule here. And now what we see is we have here t of k and here we have f of k. And resolution then uh, tells us to remove the, the pair of complementary literals and union the rest. So let's do this. Now let's go back to red. So I just copy from the, from, from the left. So we have f of b, uh, t of c, f of j, and then again t of c is already contained and the same for f of g it's already contained actually I did too much so I can remove this comma here and close the whole thing. Now the most important thing to realize when we do that is we started here from a conflict no good so here 
this guy is contained in the assignment. And whenever we do such an operation, that is, we take a conflict no good and somehow eliminate one of its constituents by resolving with the reason that led to its unit propagation here, we get again a conflict no good. Let's just look at this. So I just use another color, let's say green. So f of b is here, so the, this guy is here, t of c is here, and f of j is here, right? So this here, most important to note is, this is also a conflict no good, just as this guy here. Okay, and now actually we ask ourselves again the question, does this uh, no good have a, a unique implication point? And yes, it has, it is f of j, it is this guy. Now actually there is a unique literal in the no good, in the conflict no good, that belongs to the level where the conflict happened. So why is this important? Well, again, keep in mind that at that, at that position here, this is a conflict no good. But once you remove this guy here, right? So for instance, at level 41, this guy uh, allows us to, to do unit propagation, right? Because again, f of b is here, t of c is here. So we could actually, if we would clear this level, we could, we could actually uh, yield a new, uh, new unit resulting literal, t of j, at that point here. Okay? Good, but well, that is not the smartest thing to do. The smartest thing is actually to go to the highest spot in the in the uh, in, in the assignment where this guy is unit resulting and for this it's very easy well, well I know very easy well I've done this a couple of times so let me take another color we look at the at the decision levels right so this here is of course 42 t of c is 7 and uh, f of b is 0 um, okay so and now actually this already tells us where we have to jump back to so this is where the current conflict literal is, right? So that's, if, if we take this back, we and look at the maximum one, and this is actually the seven here. This is the highest point where this guy gives us a, a unit resulting literal. And that's more or less what, what, we, what, what we learned from this guy. So most, first of all, we now have a conflict no good that has a unique implication point, And we know that the highest level where this guy gives us a unit resulting literal is level seven. So this means actually we now concluded the analysis. We learn this no good. This more or less means we take this guy and add it to the dynamic no goods in our algorithm. This is Nabla, right? Well, it's not the nicest Nabla, but it, it almost is one. And then, so that then we have learned it, right? We added it to this uh, to, to 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 the set of dynamic no goods, and then we back jump. And back jumping means we jump to level seven. And well. Uh, let, oops, let me destroy a little bit here my, 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 my... So jumping to level 7 means we clear everything up to level 7. Okay, and well, these, these guys are also gone. So if you th see this in the reverse order as a stack, we clear everything until level 7. Now, however, so we've been at level 7 already, right? When, when we went downwards. But now we have new information. This is, of course, the new information that we have. And this guy is unit resulting. Again, uh, f of b is here, t of c is here. So we add the complement of f of j at that point. And this is then, oops, oh no, I didn't want to do that. Oh, no, no, not, not, hey, what is happening here? Uh, I hope you forgive this, t forgive me that. So, uh, and we then add, first of all, let me redo this, undo this. So we then add here at that point, t of j and we continue propagation from there and this was more adding adding t of j so adding this at that point this is what we do with assert so then we are done with this oh let's stay consistent we're done with this and we resume the normal procedure in more or less doing propagation as much as we can doing a choice and and and, and so on and so forth Right? That's more or less uh, the idea and the idea of CDCL. One thing that you may also remark is while the algorithm runs, the upper levels get bigger and bigger, right? So for instance, here level seven is extended. Um, and the, often enough, actually, uh, things get, the, for instance, level, level zero gets very big, the for, former levels, and this is more or less how the algorithm then works. And perhaps if it's unsatisfiable, even all the levels are removed un unless level zero and then the conflict occurs there.
Good, anyway, I hope this showed you again, except for my two or three lapses here, how things work. I hope you didn't mind, you enjoyed it nonetheless. It's better than such, such a sterile talk, right? And uh, well, I hope you also enjoy this algorithm, as, as I said in, 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 the, in the videos, right? Uh, I think this is really an interesting idea and, and coming across this as a computer scientist, at least I think is always an interesting thing, right? Because, yes, not no because, it's just like this <laughs> anyway. Good, so um, I hope you liked it and then, well, as, as usual, stay tuned or bear with me.